Hello everybody on YouTube, Vanity Stick here, back with another video and today I have the Samsung Galaxy ON5 and I'm gonna do a full review I know a lot of people, they wanna buy the phone but they don't wanna invest the money for in a phone unless if they see the review, so this video will be for you gonna have a closer look on the design of the phone from the front you will see regular uh, design for any Samsung phone speaker proximity sensor 2 megapixel uh, camera for front no LED notification lights unfortunately you have the compassive buttons over here back and the reset and the home power button and volume records on the top you will see nice consolation and the, the back the back has textures if you guys can't feel it so it's not slippery or it's not a glassy finish and the fingerprint it doesn't print on the back which is in my opinion it's very good and from the bottom you have the microphone you have the USB 2 to charge the phone and you have the audio jack so this time audio jack will be on the bottom and you have the speaker you have the flash and you have the camera and the camera lens covered by plastic piece the build construction for the phone, you can tell it's cheap. The plastic all over around from the sides and the back, it's very thin back plastic. You can feel how cheap it is, but that's a budget phone, guys, so don't expect high premium for low price. So I'm not complaining too much. The phone's still beautiful in my opinion. I wish there is no notification LED because eventually you're going to put a case cover. So what we're going to be... Uh, focusing more in the performance of the phone we have 5 inch display and 720p HD and this is awesome in my opinion the angle view it's wonderful in this display the PPI 288 the resolution 720 times 1280 that means on a budget phone you have 720p HD that is awesome nice crisp and vibrant the only things the colors may be not vivid kind of a little bit washed out but it's very bright at the same time which is give this display a lot of good advantages for the phone price so it's not like the super amulet but hey guys that's a great display for people asking on youtube they're gonna be expecting to get 720p the speaker will be located on the back and it's mono speaker so you don't have uh, high quality stereo speaker, bass, triple, all the good stuff is not going to be here. It's not too loud at the same time. I can tell you my experience very much the same speaker that I have used in the J7. And let me uh, let you hear it. No doubt that the phone has great battery performance. Marshmallow also helps a lot and it's removable so all you need to do just remove the back and you can replace the battery. 2600 milliamp power battery for 5 inch display in my opinion it's great. It give me minimum between 3 hours to 4 hours of screen on time on the high brightness and you guys can save more or keep your display stay more if you go with a low brightness and honestly the, the the display is very bright itself because the quality of the display is great so you can go ahead and do the brightness a little bit lower so you're still going to be enjoying using your phone i mean you can also use the power saving mode or ultra saving mode if you need more juice to stay more and this is a software enhancement from samsung in my opinion if you want to a good battery this phone it will give you good performance for the battery phone internal hardware this time we have Exynos a processor it will be 3475 mile t720 this processor in between this the Snapdragon 410 and Snapdragon 
210 it's in between so if you look to the performance you will see it's better than Snapdragon 210 at the same time it's less than Snapdragon 410 so the performance will be medium or you guys gonna be expecting to have the same level of performance anyways we have 8 gigabytes of memory card and this is a big issue I'm coming to tell you why it's a big issue in this phone I would highly recommend to get a memory card and that phone does support up to 128 gigabytes it's a good score in my opinion for that price for HD display everything very affordable in this device you have 1.5 gigabytes of RAM in my opinion very decent for people on the budget now we're gonna show you how the GPU mild t720 perform I believe I download a temple run and play flawlessly great no problems the only things I was trying to download more games I couldn't because I, I want to test out a nice game to, to show to see the high performance but maybe next time because I need to delete everything on the phone right this moment I'm doing the review so I can delete everything let me show you when I came to download Mortal Kombat X the phone uh, give me uh, there is no enough memory available extra card please delete some files again so because you have only four gigabytes after everything pre-installed and I have to download the benchmark some applications some themes to review the phone for you at the same time I'm not going to review the game performance but you guys have before Snapdragon 410 it will be very similar performance the phone is rocking the marshmallow 6.0.1 out of the box if you get it from Metro PCS or T-Mobile which is in my opinion a great all the nice features that came with the marshmallow will be exist the especially for permission for applications Google on tap and stuff like that it will be exist honestly that phone doesn't have too much features maybe the only thing I like just double click to launch the camera on on the home button which is it came with the previous Samsung phone is still over here other than that no screen mirroring as I've mentioned and there is no NFC that means there is no uh, Google Pay at the same time which is disappointing and if you just look to the settings you will see very much everything stock I mean it's a touch whiz but you don't have anything uh, extra so no is health no is voice no everything from samsung extra stuff gestures nothing like that will be just the regular stuff like you have wi-fi bluetooth airplane mode hotspot uh, smart manager to clean the cache which is now it just becomes standard notification display advanced no fingerprints and scanner you have the easy mode so all these stuff just become more standard more than anything so we don't have too much think or new things to explain it to you in this phone so it will be just for people they want to use the phone and have their applications and games on a daily basis finally in my review I'm gonna uh, show you the camera okay so what good things about Samsung even for the low budget devices they have modes I mean you can switch between uh, the front and the back so you have, you have some modes panorama professional beauty face autofocus sport sound uh, shot you can adjust all that which is in my opinion great for people who don't know how to take uh, good photos I would highly recommend to keep it an auto that way it will be much much easier for you the resolution disappointing with this phone it's only give you 720p no full HD to record video for people they can have it and they do YouTube videos they're not gonna be satisfied so go ahead and get another one that doesn't help for the video so this is I mean uh, you can have the grids you can change the the size of screen and stuff like that the resolution it's 5 megapixel as we have mentioned I don't care much about what we what you have over here what I care about the quality of the samples and the pictures for people they ask for the uh, the front facing camera yes we do have a beauty voice mode but I'm gonna tell you if you just take selfie outside you will have no problems other than that the camera is struggle even inside the room even with a good lighting let me show you some of the picture sample I have taken I may do those on the display as well and this is I was in a room dark room and I have to use the flash it's still doing good I have no problems with that let me jump in this is the same lights over here 
comes from the door low light a lot of noises I mean it's the camera is not gonna work because there is no light just by since the back camera to be honest with you let's gonna see how much detail you can see if you zoom in this is indoor which is in my opinion good I don't have too much complaint as much as you zoom you still have to see details it's not the best camera though it's 5 megapixel but it's not bad at all some other photos over here outside pictures beautiful some pictures outside as well no problems macro great macro pictures you can take if you know how to take macro amazing that that phone has a very good autofocus outdoor selfie as you guys can see and even you can use the uh, beauty face it helps big time inside the room as you guys can see a lot of noise a lot of problems you're not gonna look uh, nice with this uh, front facing camera but anyways let me just show you some of the samples of what I'm about to do. I love that phone $49 guys you get all the spec high definition display 2600 milliamp power 5 inch of display you have Samsung branding the phone looks nice looks like uh, the s5 or something like that so you're not gonna have a cheap phone in your hands so people they are gonna say oh you have a very beautiful device and this is in my opinion a, a nice device for whatever you guys gonna pay for so I don't see any uh, reason not to buy the Samsung Galaxy on 5 if you are on a budget and that was very much it for that video wish you guys enjoy and find that review helpful for you if you did Please don't forget to leave thumbs up and you subscribe to Variety Stick for more. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I'll see you in my next one.